Let's start off with a question. How many updates do you think that Mojang has released for Minecraft? Is it 50? 100? Well, if you're in the range of about 309, you'd be right. As of the writing of this video, Mojang has released around 309 updates. It's 311 if you count the upcoming 1.19.4 and 1.20 updates. But in that time, the game has become almost unrecognizable from the first versions of the game. And as time went on, these updates became bigger, more grandiose, and have been teased months in advance from their release. But for about 10 updates from June 18th, 2010 to September 19th, 2010, Minecraft's creator Notch released nine Secret Friday updates and one Secret Saturday update, totaling 10 updates that would usually be announced just a day before releasing and sometimes just hours before release. Today, we are going to talk about each of these 10 updates, plus an 11th secret update that most of you probably have forgotten about if you know this. This is the history of Minecraft's secret updates. The first two secret updates were released in June of 2010 and were released during a period of time in Minecraft called Infinite Development, or InfDev for short. This is where Notch added Minecraft's seemingly infinite world to the game. Prior to this update, the world was significantly smaller at a restricted 256 by 256 blocks. That is very minuscule in comparison to the 30 million by 30 million blocks that we can travel today. The first Secret Friday update was released on January 18th and included taking damage in the void for the first time. Before this change was added to the game, you would just fall infinitely and have to leave the game and restart if you wanted to continue. They also fixed some rendering issues with the sky, but most importantly, they added minecarts and rails into the game. Minecarts were Minecraft's first moving vehicle and allowed for the fastest travel speed into the game up until this point. As I said before, these updates were usually announced on Notch's Twitter shortly before launching, but for the second Secret Friday update, it was pushed out just a week later with barely any announcement at all. And to the surprise of the players, dungeons, mob spawners, and saddles were added into the game on June 25th. After experimenting with generated structures like the Survival House and Brick Pyramid, Minecraft's addition of dungeons and spawners were the first success at adding depth and variety to the underground cave system. The cave system stayed generally unchanged for about 10 years. There were some minor updates here and there, but it wasn't really changed until the Caves and Cliffs update came out just a few years ago. The saddles were also the first true way to ride a mob in the game by riding pigs, but no method to actually control the pigs was implemented until the carrot and stick in a future update. And before we continue with today's history lesson, feel free to subscribe and hit that bell. It helps me out a lot. It's free and you can always change your mind later if you want to. Thank you guys so much for supporting the channel. July of 2010 had a whopping four secret updates, the most of any month during this period. This also marked the official launch of Minecraft's alpha versions, which would last until beta 1.0 in December of that same year. The first update of the month and the third official secret update included the game-changing addition of Redstone Ore. This dynamic ore was the basis of Minecraft's intricate mechanical power system that would change builds in the game for years to come. People have built computers out of this stuff later on. This update included other mechanical items such as redstone torches, levers, stone and wood buttons, pressure plates both stone and wood, and the iron door, all integral parts of builds today. The fourth secret update would then add a winter mode into the game, allowing players to live out their fantasies of living in a world covered in snow 24-7, a Christmas in July of sorts. Also included in the update were the addition of biome-based snowfall, snow blocks, and ice their respective tundra biome. A week after, the fifth update rolled around to include another amazing mode of travel, the boat. The boat is drastically different from the one that we have in game today. It was abhorrently slow, hard to control, and broke into just a few sticks and a plank after breaking with making any sort of contact with any object on land, making it almost impossible to recraft your boat after destruction if you had no other wood around. Cacti and larger trees rounded out this update and then made way for the two largest updates so far. The sixth secret update launched on July 23rd of 2010 and included some cornerstone blocks to Minecraft, including sugarcane, paper, books, bookshelves, clay, clay blocks, bricks, and slime balls. Slime balls did not have a use in Minecraft until the introduction of sticky pistons in beta version 1.7 though. And of course with slime blocks, this update would also include the addition of the new mob, the slime, which were one of the rarest mobs in the game at the time. They actually had to tune down how much they spawned at the start and they never really brought it back, so they became very rare to find in the game. And finally, alongside this update came the first beverage in Minecraft with milk. It didn't have any effect at the time because there were no potions or debuffs in the game at the time so they couldn't wipe anything, but it also didn't replenish your health at all at this time, so it was kind of a weird addition, but it became important a little later down the line. The seventh and last update of July brought a pretty decent update with the addition of one of my favorite mobs in the game, the chickens. 
alongside the chickens were their overpriced eggs, jukeboxes that were made with the hardest item to find in the game, the diamond, the first of two music discs, Cat and 13, and two additional minecarts, the furnace and chest minecarts. I think if you ask anybody, myself included, we think that July has the best amount of updates for both quality and quantity. They added some of the most important blocks to the game, and it added more blocks that would get features in the future that are very important to Minecraft today. The substance and quality of these updates was just outmatched by anything else. The eighth secret update came out in August as the only secret update released during the month. It was also the largest gap between secret updates at this point. But nonetheless, it included the addition of fences to the game. This update also included the first mashup mob, with the spider jockey alongside a fully functional day and night cycle in multiplayer. Prior to this, the day and night cycle was exclusive to single player. The penultimate secret update was released on September 10th of 2010 and included the small addition of the compass that allowed players to find their way back to their beds before the terrifying Alpha Nightfall came. Trust me, back then, Alpha Nightfall was terrifying. You did not want to be caught outside during that. Also included in this update were some tweaks to multiplayer with the addition of server-side inventories to better track users' information and prevent for some pesky duplication glitches from happening. And now, we have reached the final secret update. Secret Update 10 was released on September 18th of 2010, just eight days after the release of the last update. This being dubbed the Secret Saturday Update, included the ability to sneak in-game for the very first time. Alongside this were new paintings and a trusty fishing rod. This also included additional tweaks to smoothen the day and night cycle in both multiplayer and single player. Honestly, without sneaking, this would have been a pretty lackluster final update, but there's more to the story to why the updates finished after this. I think they would have gotten a little bit better if they continued. And typically, when you're reading a list about the secret updates, this is where it would usually end. But some forget that there was actually another small update. The Secret Saturday Fix that came out just hours after the Secret Saturday update. In the original update, Notch accidentally introduced a game-breaking glitch that would black or gray screen some players who attempted to play during the time. Notch was thankfully able to fix this and patch the game just hours after the update came out. The original Secret Saturday update, or Alpha version 1.1.1, was lost for almost a decade until the amazing people over at Omni Archive, a group dedicated to finding and saving old versions of Minecraft, finally found it thanks to a user on Twitter, at Lunar Sorcery, who was able to save it on an old hard drive years ago. This update was one of the rarest in Minecraft history, but thankfully it is back and playable if your heart desires. Just watch out for that pesky black screen glitch. Notch would discontinue the secret updates just before the Halloween update came out in 2010. Later down the line, he cited the fact that, quote, I liked Friday updates, but Saturday fixes sucked, and thus was the end of one of the most interesting and probably one of the most fun times to be on Minecraft. For almost three months at the end of your week, you had a brand new version of the game with new blocks, features, and mobs to test out in an infinite sprawling world, and you couldn't just wait to find out what Notch and the team had to cook up next. I really do wish there was a way to go back and experience this for the first time, and if you were able to, I am very jealous of you, but let me know what you thought about them down in the comments below if you're around. I don't always enjoy knowing absolutely everything that comes out in a game update. I wish there were just more surprises again, but no matter what, new updates will always get me excited. And I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Let me know what your favorites were down below. These were all pretty great updates. I want to know what everyone thinks about them. They added some really good blocks to the game. Well, that'll do it for the video today, guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. Getting your daily dose of vitamin P. If you want more daily doses of vitamin P, please subscribe below. Comment down below what your favorite is. Like the video helps me out a lot. And I will see you guys in the next one. Peace out and take care.